Alex Sons, Sensor 2, how are you doing? Hi, Chicho, how are you? Do you think Iran has nukes already? There's a suspicion that they might have some nuke warhead. Even if they don't, they're extremely close to it, a few weeks away. Uh, Alex, I don't know if Iran has nukes, but the way the United States and Israel have been behaving, if I was Iran, I would have fucking developed nukes and have had multiple nukes already put on uh, missiles and aiming at Israel. That's what I would have done. But I, I don't, I don't, I'm not a, I don't govern a whole country, right? So I only have my own individual, single, selfish opinion in mind, right? Uh, Iran has come out and said they don't have nukes. But you are 100% correct. Iran can has the technology, has the know-how, has the scientists, has the has the materials, has the ability to put those if they develop nukes, put it on a warhead that can deliver it to Israel or to any US military base in Asia or the Middle East or Africa, right? Uh, or let's say let's say Israel, right? Uh, because United States and Israel have been threatening Iran with nuclear war. However, I still don't think Iran has nuclear weapons yet, um, which I think to a certain degree is foolish on their part. But they're playing the honorable card and they haven't been hitting civilian targets. They haven't they haven't escalated. They're trying to de-escalate the war situation because they know where this is going. This is World War Three right if you look at the behavior of israel the way they're behaving and the way the world is reacting the global majority is reacting to the way israel is behaving i'll make the classic comparison it's how hitler was behaving when they were conquering multiple countries in europe right they took over czechoslovakia across the border took poland da, 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 all this stuff right went into here went into here and they were constantly threatening people saying we're only doing this for our own safety Netanyahu just came out right and told the United Nations to pull out their troops out of their base and they've already fired on UN peacekeepers so Israel is threatening the United Nations the United Nations that has a 196 countries in it right and the only reason it's able to do that is because the United States and the Western world is backing Israel and they're arming Israel, right? Israel is is nothing. It's 9 million people transplanted into a region and given control of a certain piece of property that belong to someone else. And they've said, they've, they've convinced these people and the fanatic Zionists, they convinced them that they are they are the chosen people they are better than the rest of humanity god their god is the god of everything and their god has said they should rule over the earth right so this psychotic nation right is threatening the united nations and telling them to remove their peacekeepers why are they threatening to remove the peacekeepers because they're playing the game they've played before because as soon as the peacekeepers are they are removed and there's no one to document their war crimes they're stupid enough i mean it's ridiculous because the idf soldiers are documenting their own war crimes their own genocide right so all of that is on record right now right but they believe that as soon as the u.n troops are gone the peacekeepers are gone they can level that area and no one will say anything if i was an adversary of israel May it be Iran, Hezbollah, uh, Lebanon, Syria, any other nation that does not support genocide. I would really try to grasp the concept that Israel doesn't give a rat's ass about human life, anyone else on this planet they are psychotic maniacs and they are waging a war of annihilation you give them an inch they will take your life 
and genocide you they have proven that at some point these countries that refuse to be genocide they're going to realize that there is no making peace with a beast like this and the only thing they can do is is deal with them in kind because the only thing they understand is brute fucking force okay they have proven that they don't care about committing genocide they don't care if the world knows that they are committing genocide they're they they're flaunting their genocide they're saying they're coming out and saying they're going to genocide more people right they're going to genocide other nations they have their top commanders top leaders coming out they're saying they're not going to stop at lebanon they're going to go all the way to damascus they're going to take parts of uh saudi arabia and turkey right and egypt and jordan right that's their agenda i don't i don't know how how much clearer it is but that is their agenda they're saying that's their agenda they be they're behaving like that's their agenda right it walks like a duck quacks like a duck it is a fucking duck genocidal supremacist duck right i don't understand why the rest of the world is sitting there not believing that these these people are this insane because i think what's going to happen is at some point the world's going to realize that these people really believe what they're saying and they need to be stopped right when that day comes you're going to see a lot of zionists and israelis cry their crocodile tears and say the world hates them and the world is trying to genocide them and then they're going to use that justification to use nuclear weapons when that happens i hope it doesn't if that happens i hope the world is strong enough to realize who these monsters are and deal with them accordingly whatever it takes hopefully in a peaceful way right hopefully in a peaceful way but these types of people cult supremacist zionist that they believe the rest of humanity is garbage and they have the right to rule over the entire earth i hope the world decides that these people should never have power again ever ever they should have never had power to begin with okay so does iran have nukes i sure hope they do i remember if you're following my work I kept on saying that Iran doesn't have nukes and I hope they don't. It's reached the point where me, Chicho, peaceful loving guy, is saying I hope Iran does. I hope Iran does.